Cool guys, today we'll be talking about a bit more about compressors. Okay, so before we start off with anything, this will be an instruction video. It's not going to be like one of my shorter videos where I run through a few things. By the end of this video, you'll be able to start this compressor off from start to end. Quite simple. Cool. It is quite a bit to set up, but once you have it set up, you can leave it. And from there on, you can just keep using it and using it. Cool guys, before we start off with anything, just note that this is a compressor for charging up a tank, not for charging up directly on your rifle. So... This is one of our Cloverleaf 310 bar compressors. This is made for charging up this big boy over here. Almost your tank cylinder, your litre tanks. Whereas the standard 12 volt or the 220 or 240 volt compressors charge up straight onto these rifles over here at the back. Cool. Okay, so just note when you get your box in there is an instruction manual. You get a pair of gloves, you get a bit of a mat, all small little extra bits. With that comes your compressor. This and these extra pieces are not set up as you take it up. This is something I just did beforehand so I can make the video a bit shorter and not bore you with me turning things out and setting the whole thing up. But I'll still run you through on how that works. In that box, you will get your uh, bleeding nipples over here, your little safety pack over here or o-ring pack or service kit pack like we call it. You've got burst discs that are in here that's for safety for this compressor. So this is very very safe to use i'll let you know it's a little brass disc over here all it is is once you turn this out it's a little plate so before the compressor wants to go one of those plates will go so your compressor is very very safe to use in here is a filter bag with this filter comes your filter itself you see i've got something bigger on the front i'll run you through that a bit later it comes with one of these small little filters and that's that okay so let's put that one side quickly cool so as you get it you'll see that there is one two and three bleed holes on it okay bleed holes are just for the air let out those are all empty as well as this is not connected up this tubing and this filter comes separate so it comes with a nipple that is screwed in all the way in there so first thing you do screw this out pop that one side get your male threaded tube that you have screw the one side in nice and tight just make sure that the o-ring that was on here you move it over onto this one cool quite simple quite easy once you've got that connected up, connect your fault on the other end, over there, and then you've got your filling station set up. From there, you'll see that there's a bit of a note here in the front. So this cap, take your cap out. This is just where your oil goes in. And please, please, in mind, we do sell these 5x40, uh, 5W40 cloverleaf oil. This works best in these compressors. You will literally only need a quarter of this. To fill your compressor up and it will run from there so what you'll do is you'll take your compressor oil this i'll put on the side you can take your compressor oil throw it in you'll see the reservoir here at the bottom has got a red dot in the middle at the bottom of the red dot is an optimal amount but it requires you to fill it just to above the red dot so once you fold it up there to the above your red dot uh, your compressor compartment with the oil is filled up and good to go this is a little filter that comes within one of the bags make sure you connect this up on the front quite simple so we've got our oil in we've got it closed up over here give it a nice hand tight and then once it's in cool we're good to go there cool from there onwards you'll see i've got a bucket here with water so this is just half a bucket of water this is a cooling system on this now keep in mind these compressors get very hot try not to exceed a temperature of 65 as soon as you hit 65 stop the compressor let the compressor cool down and then charge up again cool so you'll get your two tubings and you'll get your pump in here the pump connects straight into the compressor from there you've got your power cable and you pop your power cable on once it's powered to the compressor and you haven't turned it on but you put your water cooling system in the water cooling system will automatically stop it. That's the first thing you run up before you do anything. Let you check that your water cooling system works and then connect it up. Guys, a small bit of a tip, the colder, the better. If you can throw icing or a, bucket, a, um, a bottle, frozen bottle of ice, throw it in, that's perfect. The colder, the better. On this compressor over here, there is a bit of a, uh, a gauge or a digital screen that shows you what temperature your compressor is at which is really cool please keep that in mind when i got here this compressor was about at 23 degrees this was also turned off the second i turned it on it's dropped below 19 so we're starting off at a good temperature which is cool okay here is your gauge over here that states you where you're filling to and how much you're filling to guys please keep in note this thing is a 310 bar compressor so don't fill past 300 bar 
On here, you'll see there is also a dial that you can set, which allows you to set when you want your compressor to charge up to or stop. So what happens is you'll turn it on, you'll let it run, you'll set this, let's say we want to charge our tank of 250, let's say. We let it run and that's that. Cool. It will then automatically shut off and that's a nice safe feature, but please do keep an eye on this. Okay. Once you've got all of that set up, we've got our power connected up, we've got our water connected up, we've got our filling station connected up. From there, you'll need to take your three bleeding pins, put the one in over here. This is just to hold all the air on the inside and let the compressor work. That's the one. Just loosely tighten it up very easily. Cool. Now we've got it in. Cool. From there, I need to just double check. I've got everything sorted out. So I don't have a tank over here that is empty, so I won't be able to charge up a tank. And it's going to take quite a bit long to charge up. But I do say I have something similar. This is just a little block of valve. So this is something you can actually add onto the front of your filling station of your tank to show you that the uh, how much pressure you have sitting inside of your tank. So I've just got this little piece connected up here in the front. This piece does come with your goodie bag inside of your compressor. So I'll just put that in the front over there now. When we sell one of these compressors, yes, this filter may work, but every second or third fill, you'll need to replace this, and it becomes a bit of a pain. What's nice about this filter, and these, well, these two filters over here, this one over here has got a much larger filter on the inside, which is easy to re replace. I'd say every 10 or 12 fills, replace that filter on the inside, or just keep opening it up, checking what's the inside. If you've got a bit of color duration, swap it out. Cool. Now, this one on the other hand, yes, it's big and chunk, but, it doesn't have a filter on the inside. This has got a tubing with carbon shrouds and carbon balls, which work a lot, a lot better. So this is quite cool. This is something you can connect up. Once you have it set on, you can let it be. Guys, please keep in mind, do not swap this around. So once you charge a few times up, obviously water builds up. And now if you end up swapping it around, you're gonna end up pushing air right back into the system. So very, very simple, very, very simple from there. Um, we've got everything set up, we've got our water running, we've got our compressor running, everything's good to go. I've also got power over here, so all we need to do is just start it. The first thing you do, tighten up all your bleeding valves, like that, and the compressor going, cool, cool, cool. Okay, and as simple as go. <laughs> switches all by itself quite cool so i'm sitting at 150 bars worth of pressure which is setting you on the inside now all you need to do from there is just release one of the bleed valves which is the on the top release the other one make sure your compressor is setting at zero and that's that so how it works on one of your tanks is you've got your filling station connected up all you need to do is just close your valve on your tank release all the air in the filling station and you're good to go cool guys so today we have now showed you from beginning till the end if there's any questions you need please there is an email address on our website or get a hold of us here in store we'll gladly help you with any of your questions any one of these products are available as well on the online website if you need anything, even on our Facebook post or on our Instagram post, please ask our questions. We love hearing about it. Guys, please share as well, like the video and let me know what else you guys might be interested in. Thank you.